Hey guys, it's Lehigh Valley Railfan, and I have a really cool project uh, update that has been long awaited uh, that should have happened a long time ago. Uh, I think I mentioned a year or so ago about a uh, coal fired vertical boiler locomotive project. Uh, I finally have been doing something with that. Uh, as you can see in front of the camera right now, is the actual boiler to the uh, project. Um, I've spent the past couple of months and weeks uh, putting it together, planning it out, making drawings and everything for this. And it's finally starting to come together. Uh, I mean, it's a mess right now. I just got fini uh, I finished soldering and I didn't go back and really clean up much, so it looks pretty crappy, but... Uh, yeah, I have flanged the uh, plates and everything uh, with copper sheet. Uh, here's an example of the copper sheet I got that I used to flange those plates. And uh, I got some bushings and everything off of uh, lineamachine.com, which I soldered in the uh, two bushings for the blower valve, which is this right here. This is the blower, and then this is going to be the regulator. And then I have the uh, safety valve bushing soldered in here up on the top. Over here is just going to be a blank. I'm just going to put a bushing in here and put a plug in it. So if I need to use it for anything in the future, I can. Uh, I still have yet to get a tap and everything and make the bushing because I can't buy this type of bushing because it's really rare for the uh, water gauge. I'm gonna. That's probably going to go in like right here. So... And then I have to get a uh, a threaded nipple to uh, so I can uh, thread the safety valve into the uh, bushing up there because it's a, a female end to the uh, female. So and one other thing I have to do yet is I have to drill and tap over here uh, a bushing so I can put the uh, little pressure gauge on it, which will go like it'll come off and go about right there. So, this is pretty much the boiler so far. Uh, I have some other parts here that I'm going to work on. This is, uh, this is just like a little uh, prototype piece for the, uh, where the firebox door is going to go. found some nice uh, one-inch coupling, and when I crushed it in the vise to make it uh, like an oval, it pretty much is perfect for what I want to do, and it's going to work great. Um, I'll just let you look at the boiler <laughs> it's, I think it's it's gonna count nice it might not look the, like the most prettiest thing in the world but it'll function hopefully so we soldered down in there to uh, connect the uh, bottom tube sheet in and then I have a I think it's a three quarter inch diameter flue that runs all the way up I think Pretty sure it's three quarter. Yeah, uh, a three quarter di uh, diameter flue that runs up. It's about what one, one inch in di uh, OD and wait, sorry, no. I think hold on. <laughs> I think it's a uh, one. Might be one. No, I think it's a uh, might be seven eighths. Yeah, it's seven eighth OD and three quarter ID. So. That's the uh, it's a center flue that just runs right up in the middle, obviously, as you can see. Uh, I don't know what much else to say about it other than uh, it's finally getting work done. So uh, that's about it for this layout, uh, layout update. That's about it for this update on the uh, coal-fired boiler. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.